Hello, it's Bruce, and today I'm here with a mid-season review. I plan on doing two of these this season. Once during the next, this bye week, so this week, and once between the in-division and inter-division matches. I hope that with these reviews that it provides a little bit more of a retrospective perspective. I guess is the right way to say it. It sounds weird, but a bit more of a retrospective take on my season so far and provides a little bit more of uh, consistency to it instead of waiting for the end of the season for everyone's season breakdowns. So with this, we're going to start with my mistakes so far, my plans to fix them. We're also going to have a segment of going over my coming transaction, which might get cut depending on when transactions will be and when I plan to release this, as well as an overview of my games to come. Or my, not my games to come, but my two games that I've played already, and a bit more of a taken back, uh, seeing the forest for what it is type take on the matches instead of my post comms that are recorded just after I play the game. So we'll start with mistakes. Now I'm going to go a little bit out of order and start with the two in the middle. My team is too Finny centric and I fail to understand what Finny actually does. So this is going to start with Finny itself. Finny I didn't realize what I wanted to do as a bullshit denier. And with that, I failed to make a hyper offense team around it. And realizing this very recently, I realized I kind of fucked up in creating a team around the Finny. And now I'm going to have to create a different team that doesn't rely on the Finny and eventually sacks the Finny. So, just a few of the things that I did to make this team Finny-centric was, of course, drafting Urshifu, and then drafting uh, Morgrim for the, the flatter swagger support in the Misty terrain, and then just grabbing that tile for Unburden. Finny was a very core component of my team, and I failed to really set in place how I wanted to use it. And with the mistakes I've made with my transactions so far, there's no going back, especially once Sogatix dropped. So, my item problems. First off, team is way too frail. Um, or at least when I drafted it, it was way too frail. I had four mons that wanted Sash. Those four in tier order being Urshifu, Talonflame, Lycanroc, and Morgrim. So, obviously, you can't have more than one Sash. And with all those mons possibly being able to come in one game, it's way too much. I needed to switch stuff up, get more bulky offense, and generally either invest heavily in the hyper offense, which I didn't do, or yeah, get that bulky offense. Next, who may not fully evolves with Togetic, Mess Morgrim, and Piloswine. I dropped Piloswine, I'll go over that later, which I think is the right decision, but with the Togetic being an enabler for Hyper Offense and Morgrim being my Finny enabler. I liked the Morgrim more, to be completely honest, because I wanted to keep the Finny, I was too hard suck on it. Shouldn't have, but we'll save that for later again. Next, Togetic was not the problem, obviously. Um, I could have had a really nice hyper offense team had I kept Togetic and I switched um, 
I switched the Finny out for something a little bit more enabling. And of course, if I switch the that out, I could also switch out my other enablers, like my Morgrim, my Talonflame, and the Sceptile, which is useless at that point. For things that are a little bit better for my team. Finally, grabbing, grabbing Trevenant with the reflection I've had over the past week in my bye week, I found that Trevenant is not the call because hint hint we're dropping Finny because it's almost useless on my roster now and the main core of my roster, the part that's good, doesn't profit off of it and the things that I have for the Finny don't mesh well with it or don't mesh well with the rest of my team. So we're focusing around that and grabbing Trevenant with not only my team now, but my team in the future. A slow and not very bulky, but still existing and I guess a berry spamming Trevenant is going to be, I guess, it's not as much of a place in my team as what, say, my coming transaction, getting rid of it, will be. So, going into the fixes, Lycanroc for the TR setter. This was mainly because I had Togetic for Iperior, which was the wrong play, but it shifts my team into far more of a Trick Room mode. And with that Trick Room mode, I need to facilitate that Trick Room setter, which is currently Trevenant, but seem not to be. Oh, Rhyperior comes onto my team, and with dropping Togetic, it basically neuters my hopes of having a hyper offense team. So, I have to dial things back and sh shift it into more of a two part team a half Trick Room and half Tailwind, and choose which I want to bring each week, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's not not really ideal for what I had. Finally, Pilot for Mr. Rhyme. No complaints there. Mr. Rhyme provides a lot more utility than Pilo, and it doesn't require an evil light, which is great. In the future, we're dropping Finny, obviously, because of things we previously stated about the disjointedness of my team. Um, I have to fix my team around the new tier one. I have, if I check here, I have a plan going out until the end of the transaction period, really, with formatting my team around what's going to happen. So, with Finny being gone, I obviously have to get rid of Septile. Um, and Trevenant, obviously, being gone soon, you'll probably know what Trevenant is going to be replaced with. I then have to do use my last two weeks, or actually I think it's three weeks, because Trevenant is going to be week three, Finny's going to be week four. Um, my following things going to be week 5, week 6, and week 7, I believe. Um, everything around that is going to be a huge, massive undertaking for my team, and keeping my Urshifu, Magnezone, and Rhyperior core now is going to be a lot of work to reformat. And I will say, had I not gone for Trevenant and instead gone for something a little bit better for myself, this could have been cut down a week. And, of course, with Togetic being gone, I probably extended it by another couple weeks. But we're not here to talk about exactly what's going on, just rather that I do have a plan, and it's not an ideal plan, I don't like it very much, but it's a plan. So, the transaction 
Trevenant for Jellicent. Jellicent is going to be my replacement bulky water and it's still a ghost type uh, trick him setter so it can't be faked out which provides a lot of extra support that my team will need um, it pretty much will get away with having a mental herb and getting off at the trick room because of that lack of fake out and it doesn't match very well with my team especially with the Rhyperior which has lightning rod it's a really good combo and all around great solid pick for me I'm a huge fan of it I've used Jellicent in the past and I believe I know what it does so I think this is a good transaction for my team though it may not come to its fullest potential until way later so the season so far we're starting with week one versus Izzy this is going to come down to if you don't feel good you don't play good and that was exactly me in this situation I felt like crap and I played like crap I probably could have closed oh I probably could have closed out differential a lot differently in a lot of these cases and yeah it would have been a lot so obviously first thing would be uh, there's a point where I probably should have dazzling gleam with Finny where I should have icy wind in game one and that probably just screwed my entire potential there was a point where I didn't max the Urshifu where I should have and game two or actually no the point where I didn't max the Urshifu was Really, I tried to max it, and then I was too complacent, or not complacent, but I was rushing through things and didn't get it off. Probably should have even maxed earlier. There's a lot of things that went wrong. Game 2, I still hold firmly in my heart that the strong Brave Bird with Helping Hand straight into the Halucha was the right call to lead off the game. Though... I will say, not everyone agrees with me, but that's also a testament to my style and my the way I think about the game being dramatically different than a lot of other people in the league. Other than that, not much to talk about here. Let's move on. V3 versus John, a lot closer of game, a lot more to talk about. Game one was a sweep on their end. So I obviously found out that Finny Septile wasn't going to be strong in this matchup. Game 2, 4 0 sweep for me. Magnus Owen and Talonflame took advantage of the Mint Speed, uh, Mint Speed, uh, Rillaboom. Plus, I will say, Magnus Owen should have been Air Balloon or Sugar Berry instead of Specs. Just saying. Uh, but obviously, that didn't matter because. Really Boom didn't have high horsepower. Had it did have high horsepower, I would have really enjoyed that Air Balloon and Shook player. So ultimately, that should have been the right play for me. But it was a last minute addition anyway, so I can't be too mad about what it did. So, other than that, it was really just me throwing game three. Should have called the lead, and or what the lead was going to do coming for a third game after it just got swept with against the lead that I had just brought. Should have caught that. Shouldn't have sword stance on the lichen rock. Should have actually checked my calcs on that. And yeah, so there was just a few misplays in the last game that really threw it for me. But generally, much better game for me. And I'm not I'm not gonna have this hyper offense style for very much longer. So it was nice to be able to at least show off a little bit of its potential this week. So, my closing thoughts. I found that I've really screwed up. And I'm doing my best to fix it. But at the end of the day, I'm not feeling too bad about it. As long as I find this is a learning experience for myself. To enhance my gameplay. To enhance my skill as a player. 
And for future leagues, I hope there's a season four of this so that I can actually prove myself with a better team. I'm probably going to have future leagues starting very soon that a lot of this practice is going to help with. Generally, I find that this is, even if it doesn't end up being a successful season for me via standings and results, just like last season, I find that it will be just my next stepping stone for developing myself as a player. So anyway, I'll see you guys in week 4 for Stark. Should be a fun match. I have some tricks up my sleeve, though Dark is undefeated and will likely kick my ass. Anyway, see y'all then. Goodbye.